The Jester is a survivor of Conria. Besides that singular fact, I know very little about him, and never had any kind of close association with him. He seems to want something from me, though. In the past, he assigned to me many important tasks, including a number of trips to the Abyss. He's simple of mind, and not that strong of body. Naming him to the lowest rank seat lowered the Harbinger's collective prestige. Thankfully, I'm no longer part of that group. Hmm, let me ask. What should you do if you were to encounter a damsel who is oblivious and innocent at any given time, and unconcerned and unfeeling in any given situation? If it were me, I could at least challenge her to a fight. But if it were you, with your conscience, I would stay away from her. She has a terrible personality and cares for nothing outside of her own research. But even with that amount of dedication, she still produced a copious amount of garbage and could only secure a ranking that's still one whole place beneath my own. How pitiful. The ever-righteous captain. The brave and fearless captain. The nigh-invincible captain. Even my mechanical ears demand maintenance after listening to so many compliments from the members of the Fatui. Don't you think that possessing absolute righteousness is actually a latent danger? And that's without taking his great personal strength into account. Only someone as dense as child would think the rooster's looking after him and his family out of the goodness of his heart. Although the mayor has indeed done a number of things for their benefit, Anyone with a brain would be able to tell that the underlying meaning is, your entire family is in my hands. It's a pity that Lesser Lord Kusanali already forced him to erase so many of his segments. The joy I would have derived from slicing them apart, one by one. Oh, the ninth rank guy. He's obsessed with the idea of fair exchange, to the point of wanting to overthrow the natural imbalance between gods and humans. But, I guess it's just how ordinary mortals are like. It's easy for them to come up with pointless delusions. Honestly, it's nothing worth writing home about. Just like how there's also nothing impressive about his abilities or choice of partner. Hmm. Anyone who chooses to work closely with a doctor is sure to meet a nasty end. A wolf in sheep's clothing. To exert a higher level of control over people, she puts on a graceful and cordial front. Most of those who have seen her true crazy self have gone poof. Everyone praises her for her kindness and benevolence, but they forget that love is also a form of sin. What if she's just trying to compensate for something? Nothing remained in her ashes. I have no interest in those who have lost their future.